Hey friends, Jessica here from Creators Couture and I'm so excited to share with you my new creative collection today, which I'm calling Modern Renaissance. And I was totally inspired um, by the Dior Couture show, which was in turn inspired by the Renaissance. And we've got some really cool color palettes and Photoshop brushes to share with you today. And um, like it's inspired by Renaissance, but it has a very modern edge, just like Dior. So we're gonna get into that in just a second. And there will be a, a free Photoshop brush because every time that I release something, you know, I wanna take care of you, um, even if you don't buy my collection. So always some free goodies. And before I get into that though, I want to share with you um, a couple announcements. I've just released my Jewel and Gemstone brush studio and color palettes. And these are all, um, well, previously these were available just to my Patreon, but now they're available for sale on my website. And you can have all of the color palettes and the brushes that I use to create these amazing jewels. And I'm just gonna fly through that a little bit. You can see the color palettes collection, they're by stone and I give you the brushes and the palettes that I use to create these jewels, but you can use them to create all kinds of crystal and jewel inspired artwork. So I've got uh, uh, opal color palettes, I've got tutorial, the tutorial, plus the brushes that I use to create these stones. So you can learn from me. Um, we've got ruby and garnet, the pearl brush set, the pearl brush palettes, sapphires, um, aquamarine, and what else? I've got wet brush palettes, so you can have wet brush strokes that go along with the colors. Um, citrine, raw diamond, emerald, peridot, uh, rose quartz, so all of the color palettes and tools. But also, um, if you don't want to draw them yourself, I do have all the gemstones available on my website. So they're really good for like birthstone art, um, uh, anything just jewel inspired, you can just do a lot of fun things with them. But you can see every gemstone has its own set. I have different metals. Um, I've got gold accents, rose gold and silver, and even metallic gold accents. So a lot of fun here. And um, I might even sneak in a freebie from this collection. So check down below. But that is, I've just updated that collection on my website. So definitely check that out. But today we are talking about the modern Renaissance. So as I mentioned, this was inspired by Dior Couture. This was the spring, summer 2021 Dior Haute Couture. And as you can see here, this collection is super inspired by the Renaissance. And most specifically, it was inspired by this tarot card deck. And if you look through the, the looks here, you can see the inspiration um, and you have all of these like moody, earthy color palettes and all through the clothes and the backgrounds, you can see these kind of brocade patterns, um, you know, like uh, the tapestries and these, you know, like really old style kind of patterns um, that are everywhere. And so that really inspired me. And so I thought, um, you know, why not make a collection inspired by this? And I had remembered that I had wanted to do like a Renaissance inspired collection for a long time. But, you know, just like Dior did, they, they do it. It's inspired by the Renaissance clearly, but it's in a modern way and it's not like a costume. So just like that, we want to do something fresh. Take these inspirations. Why not use these motifs, but do it in a fresh and modern way. So I've got um, this modern Renaissance collection here. So what I did was I sampled colors from the clothing and you can see the earthy color palette here. So these are color blends, which work with any of my color blending brushes. And now these ones are very, they have like subtle color blends. They're not really dramatic, but it works really good with um, a lot of different brush collections. So don't forget, you can use these color palettes with any of your color blending brushes um, that are on my site. like. The tool, the galaxy looks really cool with this. Um, just there's so many options, any of the color blending brushes. But I had a lot of fun with the tool in particular and the galaxy and a few others. Um, and here is a little sample image that I made and I was taking the inspiration from the tarot. So I made a, an image of la lune, the moon. 
And um, I used my galaxy brushes to create this very mystical background and some of my tool brushes to kind of create this effect. And using these, this is all used with these color palettes, but in this case, I use some different brushes. So have fun with the brush collection. And then here you get a preview of the brocade brushes, which you can apply in single color, pattern stamp multicolor, or use them as a mixer brush like I did here and create this beautiful golden, um, kind of a shimmering golden thread sort of effect, which is gorgeous. So that's the first, first 12 of the brushes. And I actually source these brushes from uh, like public domain textiles and things like that. I did a whole research day and just deep dived into public domain um, patterns and textiles. And then I used Photoshop to edit those and get them pretty seamless so that you can have some really cool effects. So here's one of the brushes that I use with the metallic mixer brush settings and you know, kind of created this lace around this girl. So just to show you how you can do it in a very modern editorial sort of way. And over here on the right, we have the color palettes, very earthy, a lot of fun. And here you can see the subtle brocade brush there. And I also included metallic, deep metallic color palettes so you can have some fun with that. And you see I have all the earthy colors that match this collection perfectly. And then here is a sample artwork. And this is using some clouds brushes that I had. And this color palette collection could be really fun for like um, some zodiac artwork like you see here. And all I did was I applied a 24 karat gold layer style over this. And then I painted some of these clouds in the background with the color palettes. And then if you look around the edges, I have a subtle brocade brush in the metallic blue. So it can be very subtle, but be very modern. And then here's some more of the brushes, um, 13 through 24. So you get an idea of how they look. This is an invitation design. And I'm actually proud of this because it feels very Dior. And in this case, I had a, just kept it really simple, but I used the metallic brocade brushes and then I layered that with the gold. So super fun. And you know, you can just do it in a modern way. And here you have like some of the brushes in the metallic and then some of them in the, the color palettes. And you can create these amazing, um, these amazing textures. And here I just, um, this was a free template from Adobe. And I just used, um, one of my metallic layer styles, I think on the, the 24 karat gold to put over the white part. And then I painted with some of the color blending brushes. I think this was like artistic autumn. I painted some of these color palettes and just kind of give you an idea of what you can do like just with brushes. So I take this template that I already have, you know, it's a stock template, a little cold, nothing, you know, too special. And you can turn it into something really with depth and painterly and much more artistic just with Photoshop brushes. And there we are back to the image. So um, here we have the color palettes and we're just going to go through and I'm going to give you a little demo of what you can do with the brocade brushes. So I've loaded them into Photoshop, the modern Renaissance brushes. Now, First of all, you can use them in single color, it's fine. You can take the pattern stamp tool, make sure that impressionist is a checked but not aligned, and then like grab a color palette. Like in this case, I'm doing red on red. And I think with these, the, um, the tone on tone monochromatic can look really cool. So I'll just uh, grab my pattern stamp tool, impressionist, I've grabbed a color palette, and I'll grab one of these um, brushes and let me just delete what I already have. And there you go. You can see, I can take some different one, different colors here, but I'm just gonna paint and you can see, I'm gonna zoom in. You got that really nice texture and these are pressure sensitive. So what's fun is you can, um, let's put a green on here. Um, if you do light pressure, you can barely see it. It's got the opacity, but you can push down and then you can see more of the color blending and you see the, the colors more, you know, the different colors. So, and it's more filled in. So 
you can just you can build it up and have a lot of fun with that and the best way to use these which is my favorite let's put a blue background here I'm going to first of all go to my left hand side grab your mixer brush if you don't see the mixer brush like this it could be hidden underneath your brush tool but I leave it in its own space so I always have it available I grab my mixer brush I'm going to grab like one of the brushes and I'm going to make sure that of the settings here at top. So you need to make sure that wet has a 1%. So this is going to be a really dry setting and then everything else is 100 and that's good. And so now I'm going to go over to my metallic palette that I have already provided for you and we're going to go ahead and do it in gold. So I'm going to hover over this gold area. I'm going to option and click inside there and now I have the gold loaded up in here and if you don't see that gold make sure that you have this box checked which means load color up so you want it to look just like you see here and make sure that sample all layers is not on and then we're going to go back over to our um, thing here our uh, design and I'm just going to paint lightly and you can see the pattern with this gold. And what's cool is I can paint light to dark and it's got, and it fills it in more. Hold on, let me find one. I, let's see here. So here, and what's cool is you, after you've loaded up your brush, you can change um, brushes and just kind of play around with it. So just find one that we love. And so I'm just doing it light here and this is the really it really looks like golden it really looks like a gold filigree or embroidery or something like that and it whenever you're using the mixer brush settings to um, put that gold on there you've got those the subtle variations that make it look really nice because for example right now if i was just going to put one of my 24 karat gold layer styles on top of it i'll click like that you can see it's a little more flat which Layer styles is like a fast way to get gold, but using the mixer brush like this and putting it on dry settings can be really fun. And then if I, and if I push harder, I can kind of fill it in more. So you can get a lot of really cool different effects. And let me zoom out just a little bit. So there we can get these kind of, you know, golden um, sort of effects like you see here. And let's see find the I'm gonna find these ones at the end they were so cool I like mm, that one's one of my favorite but I forget what number it is oh, there we go yeah 26 because you see here you can build it up and you've got those really cool um, really cool patterns and then you can push a little harder and it fills it in a little bit more so you can go from light and super subtle or push harder and then you can make it more dramatic. Now, one really helpful tip is say you're like, okay, I like this, but the pattern is too big for my design. So what do I do? So if you want to change the pattern size, then we go over into our brush uh, properties and where is my brush properties? If you don't see it, go to window, um, brush settings sorry brush settings oh i did not see mine because it was hidden or turned off so there's my brush settings and all you have to do is go to texture and you've got the patterns inside there and all you have to do is slide the scale bigger or smaller so i've got it at 52 percent but i could scale it down to like 19 percent, and now you have um, a smaller pattern my tie-dye brushes also work like this. So the, the pattern size is totally up to you. And you can have some fun with that and adapt it for your, for your projects. So also don't forget, I, I made the metallic um, palettes in all these different colors. So I'm going to go grab this blue one here. And I'm going to hover over my blue area option, alt click, just tap on it. I'm using a Wacom pencil right now. And I'm just gonna go over here. And now we can see that we have that beautiful blue. 
and it's just really subtle, but you can get some amazing metallic sort of effects. These ones here, 30, I think it's 30 and 31, is kind of like that silk, shin, that rough silk kind of texture that you, I saw on a lot of the, um, on a lot of the, um, oh, patterns and stuff or the clothes. So you can just have a lot of fun and let's see your option click. Let's go over to my demo. So you can use these different um, color palettes, you know, in the metallic. So you have that shimmery metallics. And let's see, I'll show you. There's the metallic palettes. And what I did was I, I love the tone on tone. So if you're using the metallic blue, it looks really good on a really deep blue behind it, you know. And for those colored metallics, you want like a dark color behind it for it to show up. And the same with the gold, you know, you want it on a dark background so that it can really show up. So um, let's see here. There you see I've kind of layered and I've put some brush, like I've painted behind it. So we've got little areas of lighter color and it just, you know, you can layer that up and, and have a lot of fun with that. And these are all of the color palettes. And then here we have the brushes and all these different brilliant brocade brushes that are pressure sensitive and you know so i think i've showed you everything um i'm going to put one of the brushes as a free download and it's just going to be a regular abr brush so that that way it is most um, versatile for you and sometimes when i have these like metallic brush collections i save them with all of the mixer brush settings but in this case i want First of all, I don't want to fill up your Photoshop with a bunch of um, the same brushes. And you, you want to keep your Photoshop, you know, as clean as possible. So it would be really stupid for me to give you the, the ABR brushes so you can use them as a pattern stamp or a regular brush and then save the exact same brushes with a mixer brush setting. So that's why in this case, I save just the ABR brush and you can either grab your pattern stamp tool and use it with that method or grab your mixer brush tool and simply make one setting change. Make sure that wet is set per 1%, everything else is 100. And then you can use it with that beautiful dry settings. So they're super versatile. And don't forget, you can play with your own textures. So if you have like um, a metallic texture that you have or you've downloaded online, you can sample from other images. So have fun and play with the mixer brush. And that is um, the collections right now. So don't forget I have the Gem and Jewel that I just uh, launched. I'll have those on my website. And the Modern Renaissance I'm gonna have on intro pricing for a little while. And just make sure if you like this kind of stuff, um, come back. I'm normally giving away free brushes every week. And make sure you follow, subscribe to my YouTube and get notifications, all that stuff. And number one is make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter because I definitely take care of my newsletter peeps. I do not spam. And every time I launch a product, I always make sure that I give a really good discount for my newsletter people um, and the people that, you know, follow my work and um, support me. So I always try to take care of them. So let me know if you have any questions and enjoy the brush and feel free to tag me in any creations that you made with them.